Miami Gardens, Florida. Dolphins quarterback Tua Tungavailoa walked off the field with a wide smile as his first NFL start ended with a comfortable 28-17 win over the Los Angeles Rams on Sunday. Tungavailoa threw his first NFL touchdown, a tight window, goal line slant to wide receiver Devontae Parker, then he largely took a step back as his dominant defense and special teams units carried the offense the rest of the way for a convincing victory. Following a week in which all the talk was about Tungavailoa, the Dolphins' defense forced Rams quarterback Jared Goff into four first-half turnovers, including one for a defensive touchdown, and speedy punt returner Jakeem Grant scored an 88-yard touchdown. It was a historic day of sorts for the Dolphins, who had a passing, rushing, special teams and defensive TD in a game for the first time since October 24, 1993, against the Indianapolis Colts. I don't think I played to the standard of what this offense is capable of. There were certain plays where I could have stepped up and made the right throw, made the right decision. But it's good that we still came out with the win, Tungavailoa said. Thank God we've got a good defense. Goff might have nightmares about Miami coach Brian Flores' defense. The Dolphins pressured Goff on 21 of his 63 dropbacks, 33%, tied for the highest percentage he has faced in a game this season, Chicago Bears in Week 7. Goff was 6 of 19 with two interceptions when under duress. The 19 attempts were tied for the most such attempts in a game in his career, Week 16 of 2019 versus the San Francisco 49ers. We won. We won the game. It's a team football game. It's not a one-man show. He made enough plays for us to win the ball game, Flores said of Tungavailoa. Collectively, if we don't play well in one phase, we have to pick each other up. It's his first NFL game against a real good defense. You got to take that into account, as well. But the rest of the team picked him up, and we got the W, it was complete dominance by a Dolphins defense that devised unique pressure and confusing coverage drops that made Goff look baffled much of the game. The last time Goff led Rams coach Sean McVay's offense against a Flores defense, it was a similar story, in Super Bowl 53, Flores, then the New England Patriots defensive playcaller, held the Rams offense to just three points. Flores accepted the Dolphins' job days later. On Sunday, it looked like another example that Flores might have McVeigh and Goff's number. Andrew Van Ginkle scored on a 78-yard fumble return that was made possible by an Emmanuel Ogba strip sack. A Shaq Lawson strip sack put the Dolphins at the Rams' one-yard line to set up a short Miles Gaskin rushing touchdown. Christian Wilkins and Eric Rowe nabbed interceptions. And Goff never looked comfortable all day as the Dolphins continued to send exotic looks his way. Through the week, we caught wind of Rams defense this, Rams defense that.